This top fashion shopping app wants you to get addicted. Shein is incredibly successful amongst young shoppers and is the number one brand on TikTok. The Chinese company tries everything to trick you into spending as much time and money on it as possible. Find out how Shein uses your data to know what you want to wear before you do and how it aims to turn online shopping into an obsession. So, what is Shein, you may ask? The target group consists of women aged between 18 and 24 who are hooked on their extremely cheap prices and high turnover of product. Shein has been valued at 100 billion US dollars in April 2022, more than fashion giants Zara and H&M combined, which makes it the world's largest fashion retailer to date. Founded in China in 2008, little is known about the e-commerce giant. Shein's rise began in 2012 when they started using social media to cooperate with fashion bloggers. In 2014, the company became a fully integrated retailer with its own supply chain system of manufacturers and suppliers. They have a blended business model, which is not only e-commerce, but also social network. Obviously, they also have a pretty robust operations, physical operations. So this three pillars, social media data, app data, operations data, if it's all orchestrated and combined, this gives them the edge. What has come to light over time are some of the shady practices of the company. Working conditions in some factories and warehouses are reported to be atrocious. Some workers have had to work 75-hour weeks. Also, under the hashtag Shame on Xi'an, the brand is accused of stealing other creators' designs. Which really brings up the question... First of all, Xi'an produces new items and throws them on the market right away. The website is updated with an average of 6,000 new styles of clothing every single day. For comparison, H&M adds approximately 25,000 new items per year. Shein brings fast fashion to a whole new level. Shein is not just a sales platform, it's an ecosystem. Its app mixes sales and a social media platform. In the one tab, you shop for the bazillion of items offered. In the other tab, you can watch other people presenting their hauls, like them, comment on them. And, what you see is what you can buy at the bottom of the screen. They're getting more information about your preferences as opposed to just saying, hey, do you like this shirt? Do you like that shirt? You're commenting or liking or watching a video where somebody is using one of their items and that makes the product better with use. They are pretty efficient in data triangulation, which is combining data from different sources. They have basically more relevant data than Zara or any other, let's say, normal fast fashion brand. Furthermore, Shein has perfected marketing with KOL, key opinion leaders. Katy Perry, Lil Nas X and Rita Ora are a few examples of whom the brand have collaborated with. But maybe even more important is its army of micro-influencers. Some of them get free merchandise every month for their posts on TikTok. Others earn commissions on sales directed to Shein.com. And then there's a real treat. When they create content advertising for Shein, influencers get a flat rate fee without signing on for a brand lock-in. That means Shein ambassadors can still work with and earn from other brands. But Shein's success is not only rooted in influencer marketing. Shein's target is to know what you will want to buy before you even know it. They have tools at work to identify fashion trends online. Data is crunched to predict what people will likely find new and desirable. This is a tricky part to explain, because little is known about how these analyses work. Company secret, of course. Additionally, there is the usual tracking going on inside the app. How frequent the screen is used and how do you go from screen to screen? There is nothing special per se in the fact that they use app analytics, because I guess virtually every serious player on the market is doing so. It's just, I guess, how they orchestrated this data triangulation. This is the part that's supposed to be fun. Shein goes in hard on the gamification of shopping. It's all about incentives. Logging in each day earns you points that you can trade in for coupons on your next purchase. It can feel like the fashion version of Candy Crush. Shein offers a constant stream of rotating sales and discounts. They just use pretty standard so-called behavioral design methods. If it's overused, it may cause people being hooked into so-called infinite loops. It's a pretty clever notifications, which if you don't open it, may cause you this 
syndrome of, of fear of missing out. So there's this limit, this behavioral design when it starts to be harmful. And I, I guess she is at the extreme here. The gamification also extends to the social media part of the app. The big hauls are all about the excitement of unpacking dozens of items, trying them on, see which fits and how they combine. And of course, hoping for likes and comments. From a psychology standpoint, the Shein app really leverages what's called variable rewards or intermittent reinforcement. And this is the center of what I call the hooked model, much like you go to a casino and there's this uh, the, the excitement of gambling because there's uncertainty around what you might win. The fun of watching a sports match, right? You don't know where the ball is going to go next, what team is going to score. There's a very similar mechanic in an app like Shein or social media for that example, that scrolling of searching and searching and scrolling uh, is is exemplified in Shein. In short, Shein wants to get you addicted, unless you prevent that. Yes, the Shein app is extremely well made, as are many others like TikTok, Snapchat and Instagram. They all want you to spend as much time on them as possible. But you're not a robot. You can decide for yourself how often and how intensive you want to use them. The best piece of advice I can give people is to know your values. So for example, if you want to go on social media, there's nothing wrong with social media. As long as you use it on your schedule, the same goes with the things we buy online, right? When it comes to Shein, if you have a budget and say, I'm going to spend a hundred dollars a month on Shein, there's nothing wrong with that, but define it in advance. And of course you have to figure out for yourself, whether you want to support Shein's business model, whatever you decide, it's important that you're in control and that the app doesn't control you. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Xi'an.